Welcome back, you're still watching Logo. It's hip and it's happening. And in a country which is getting younger, digital is one space that you cannot ignore. While brand experts are still exploring the opportunities of the digital media, companies like Group M are only too eager to incorporate this as part of the overall marketing mix. In the Talking Strategy segment this week, we take you through a recent study conducted by Group M titled Living with Internet. The web is no longer just a search or an information media. It is also a digital playground. A mode for expression, a tool for trade, a counsellor, a friend and a whole lot more. Taking a leaf out of this consumer trend, Mindshare, MEC and Microsoft jointly syndicated a research designed to better understand the nature of time spent by users online and use this data for better and effective marketing strategy. It actually tells you what does the user do from 6 a.m. in the morning, what's the first thing that he does on the internet and has a complete routine which is the start of his journey in the day going all the way through to the end of the day and during this journey what are the things that he does online. I think this, this, this activity which we have captured and then sort of grouped it under six different uh, heads really tells us as to what he's consuming and this information according to me is going to be very very relevant for marketers. The study was taken across 11 countries and focused on 7,000 participants. In the age group of 16 to 54, the study maps out key behavioral patterns of users online. And what's striking to know is the fact that 72% time spent online by Indians is a planned activity, unlike a perceived notion that all of it is spontaneous. The study also shows how people's attention online is dispersed and that users are increasingly multitasking. Take for instance this behavior graph of a typical online Indian user. The journey for him or her starts with social networking websites like Facebook or Twitter. And then he or she moves on to blogs followed by checking emails. Till this step, the user's involvement is highest since he or she is a part of the intimate zone. Post this, the same user diverts his attention for some time to news updates, entertainment on YouTube and the works, only to return to his social network before he or she logs off. And to anybody's surprise, the same user throughout the journey keeps his or her instant messenger, Gtalk or Yahoo or Emerson always on, as is the music that is played from either iTunes or YouTube. The study also identifies certain modes associated with different motivations for using the internet, pointing to agencies and brands, the kind of content or communication that might engage better in that particular mode of access. You are in different mode in the morning when you're when you're in a search mode, probably you will not say like or dislike. But in the evening, in, in when you're in a different mood, you will probably like to spend more time talking about the brand. This research sort of captures this. And uh, hopefully, instead of looking at in internet as one universal variable, you will look at it as display, search, social and mobile. And who knows tomorrow it will be another one called tablets. So it will help capture those uh, activities a lot better. The study also captures insights on usage patterns across devices and finds that in India, the smartphone is slowly but steadily taking over the notebooks. Indians seem to be adopting a more time-efficient, planned and deliberate approach towards internet usage. And this implies that marketers will have to work harder to reach the consumer on the go. I think um, a lot of online destinations, key destinations where most people go, have reinvented themselves and whilst they are online, they are also ensuring that they are available when customers access them using mobile internet. So if they are accessing them from smartphones, the delivery of that same destination site uh, has to be triggered off in a manner that it is, be, is successfully viewed over a smartphone. Clearly, the rapidly changing dynamics of internet usage in India offer a fresh set of opportunities and challenges for marketers. 
The study clearly underscores that as the internet grows to a scale and size, consumers too are evolving. And there is no denying that brands too have to evolve in order to keep pace with the changing face of online users. The internet they're throwing up a fresh bunch of opportunities. Moving on, the Khan's lines might very well be a few weeks away, but the atmosphere is clearly charged with a record number of entries this year. In our pick of the week, we speak to some of the biggest names in the advertising fraternity to get their all-time favorite ads. It's that time of the year again when the quiet French seaside town of Cannes becomes a buzzing hub of ads, awards and accolades. And hoping to bring home some of those prestigious awards will be the big fat Indian advertising contingent. But before that, we caught up with some of the industry's biggest creative heads to find out what their all-time favorite Cannes ads are. The first ad which comes to my mind, which is my all-time favorite, is an ad which was done for Argentinian airline. Uh, this ad is really, really beautiful. Um, uh, this is a, a very uh, beautiful story, uh, told in a very childlike way. I think it's beautifully shot. It's very human, uh, and and what you call X factor, which gives you goosebumps, is uh, that great. Uh, I would say and uh, really uh, outstanding. I mean, you must have a look at it. Y si esta vez los que creen tienen más razón que los que no creen en Aerolíneas Argentinas. What Volkswagen did when they were to launch a new uh, technology is demonstrate innovation in a new way, right? I said, uh, if you, they did that by simply taking the everyday things that people do and they just made them fun. We then put the theory to the test in three behavioral experiments. I was on the jury in Cannes, the year when it picked up uh, the Grand Prix, which is the best of best of all films across categories. And it's a wonderful campaign for Budweiser called uh, What's Up? Hello? What's up? What's up? Yeah. Yo, where's Dookie? Yo, Dookie! Yo. What's up? Hold on. Hello? So what's up, B? Watching the game, having a bud. True. True. From airlines to auto to beer, the ad folk make their pick. Question is, will this year see some memorable ads as well? Come June 19th and we'll get you the answer. On that light note, it's a wrap on Logo this week. Thank you so much for watching and if you've got any feedback for us, please feel free to write to us. Our Twitter and our Facebook IDs are flashing on your screen. You can also mail us at logo at utvmoney.com and we would love to hear from you. You can also catch the repeat of our telecast on our Facebook page. Until next week, goodbye. Ask marketeers and advertising experts why Mac users are so loyal and they all cite the same reason, Apple brand. The overwhelming presence of Apple comes through in everything they do, from Mac to iPod to iPhone to iPad and now iCloud. Not long ago, brand Apple was written off by cynics and now it's a marketing case study. Catch the story of brand Apple on Logo next week. <laughs>